In this video, we'll bounce the equation for Na2O2 plus H2O. This is sodium peroxide plus water. And this is going to be hot water. With hot water, we'll end up with O2. If it was cold, we'd get H2O2 peroxide, hydrogen peroxide. So we have our hot water. Let's count the atoms up. Two sodium atoms, two oxygen atoms, plus, don't forget this one here. That'll give us three total oxygen atoms and then two hydrogen atoms. Product side, one sodium, one oxygen. And again, don't forget these guys. That'll give us three, one hydrogen. At this point, it looks like I could put a two in front of the sodium hydroxide. That would balance the sodiums and the hydrogens. One times two, those are balanced. Oxygens, we do need to change. So we have one times two plus these two and the O2, four, and then hydrogen, one times two. So we did balance the hydrogen atoms. So now we have a bit of a problem. We're close. We have four oxygen atoms on the products, three on the reactants. We could put a two here. That would double the oxygen. So we'd have an extra oxygen. Let's update these numbers here. So now we have the two plus the two times the one, two. That balances the oxygens, two times two. So now we have four hydrogen atoms. So at this point, the hydrogens, they aren't balanced. And the only way we're going to get this to four is if we change this coefficient here to four. So let's do that. So we put a four here, and now we need to update all of these numbers. So let's do it. So we have four times one, four of those sodium atoms, four times one, that's four plus the two out here, six, four times one, that gives us four hydrogen atoms. So we have balanced the hydrogens. Now these aren't balanced. If we put a two here in front of the sodium peroxide, let's see what that does. Two times two, that would balance the sodium atoms. Let's update the oxygen. So we have two times two, that's four, plus two times the one, that's two, and we get six. And finally, this equation is balanced. So this was a difficult one. We'd change one thing and we'd get close, and then that would change something else. But if you stay with it, be careful about adding your numbers up. For example, we have oxygen here and here. Got to count all those. And then on this side, we have oxygen here and here. If you're careful, you'll end up with the right coefficients. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for Na2O2 plus H2O. And in this case, it's hot water. It'll give us sodium hydroxide and oxygen gas. Thanks for watching.